Okay, as of uh, now, uh, seems that we have to conduct all our labs through our online approach. Okay, because uh, previously we have a, a mix between online, no, mix between uh, software and uh, hardware on this lab of EET 306. But seems like now we don't have uh, any chance to meet face to face. And if there is a chance, uh, maybe some of you cannot attend the lab, so we have to repeat lab again. So we have moved to the uh, general approach, which is we convert all the labs into online. And previously we have uh, decided to use uh, MATLAB PC, sorry, MATLAB Simulink. MATLAB Simulink, but due to license issues, so we have uh, agreed that we use PC instead because we have a, a free trial or free uh, four months duration for you all to use PC in our uh, lab. Okay, if we refer to a module that I already good to you all, module uh, number one, which is this is the pre pre lab modules. Okay, we have. Uh, I hope you have installed PSIM on your laptop and you are able to run PSIM and go through this software on your own. Okay, as of uh, today, what we wish you all to understand or get from this uh, pre lab session is that <clears throat> you are able to fulfill all the objectives that listed on the uh, modules. First of all, we wish you to introduce you all to PCIM. Maybe this is the first time that you use PCIM. But based on our experience, this uh, software is similar to uh, PSPICE, but much more user friendly. Because uh, it's, it's very, very easy to simulate. <clears throat> it, is, it is a direct approach. You don't have to put any kind of parameters, too much parameters to the device that you want to use. Just click, 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 and you can run. And so it is a simulation base, so you cannot uh, see any kind of constraint on the, on the results later on. But the, you can understand actually the behavior or the characteristic of the system when you run the simulation. OK, we wish to introduce you all to the PC, which is not only used in this uh, subject, maybe you're going to use uh, for sure, in the semester, second semester, on the power electronics course, you will use this PC as well. And also, maybe in this within this uh, semester also, maybe some lab are going to use PC for their uh, uh, lab because we have to replace all the hardware lab into online. Okay, the third one is that uh, you should able to design, compose, simulate, and analyze. The circuit using this PC, especially for the machine control and characterization. So you're able to you're open to explore this PC software on your own, uh, create a basic basic circuit and try to produce some sort of uh, result to present inside your report. Okay, we have divide uh, this pre lab module into two category or two section. Section one is for you all to understand on how to generate a result and present in terms of voltage, current, and the related power plots. Okay, we have a, a line for you all to uh, standardize into a report, which is we need you all to simulate or present only up to two cycles of waveform. So for practical or for effective simulation, if you want to simulate something, so we have to simulate up to certain certain hours or days so that we are able to understand that our system is stable or not. But for this basic understanding on PCM and how to use PCM and how to present your reports, we just wish all to you to plot two cycles as our uh, result to be represented in our reports. 
Okay, you should able to refer uh, uh, result reference in appendix A. So when you create the circuit, the result that you should get is some sort like what available in appendix A here. So this is the result of voltage, current and power for the circuit that you should compose on the uh, load of resistive, resistive load. We have resistive, inductive, capacitive, and also impedance load. Okay, we have given you all the reference table on how to, what the value you should use for your simulation purpose. Okay, and you, I will give you a briefing on this lab about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, then I will leave you all to uh, perform your exercise. Then I will check you 10 to 15 minutes before we dismiss. Okay, you can interrupt me anytime if you have any question or any concern. Uh, you can press up or you can text on the text box. Okay, uh, now uh, the first section A, what we need to do is that you create or generate the schematic to have a summation on the load uh, on the source that's supplying a resistive load. So the source is the AC source. So source, AC source, with the V peak of 50 volt, frequency of 50 hertz, supplying load of 5 ohm. So you draw your schematic here. Actually, the schematic you don't have to hand draw. You just compose inside PCM snapshot, paste in this report. So this uh, sheet of uh, pre lab module you can use as your report template directly. So you don't have to draw, scan, or like that. You just sketch inside your PCM, copy and paste inside this report. Okay, you uh, create for resistive, inductive, capacitive, and you generate waveform. Also the same, inside the scene, you generate, create, you edit, then you can copy and paste to the waveform uh, uh, here, waveform uh, area here. <clears throat> it's not supposed to be like uh, the size like this, but you can uh, modify, adjust based on your, your creativity. And at least uh, not exceeding one page. Huh? Uh, but these marks here represent how details and how much the data that we expect you all to reveal or to discuss. And let's say you have three marks here. So discussion about what you can observe from your, your plots or your waveform should be discussed here at least for three marks. Uh, one marks may be represented by two lines of comments. So three marks, maybe three, uh, six lines. Okay. You repeat the same for inductive load and capacitive load and also impedance load. Okay. Then you go to your, uh, our discussion about what you can observe in terms of uh, power attributes and average uh, power on the different light uh, kind of loads that you have simulated just now. Okay. Okay, before we go to section B, I try to uh, uh, show you example of how you want to run PC. <clears throat> okay, I open the PCM web uh, PC page now. If you cannot see, you please kindly uh, alert me or inform me. Okay, this is the, when you click to PCM, this is the area or the, the page that you see. Huh? So you just create the new page of your simulation uh, template. Okay. For example, we are going to simulate our first uh, task, which is the source to supply resistive load. Okay, we have here in our uh, PC page here, all the upper labels here, you can have a drop down elements or content, content here. Or you have a shortcut on the below lines. 
we have your ground, resistor, inductor, capacitor, the power switch, the sources, uh, sorry, the sources, AC, DC, pulse source, or your uh, voltage parameter, whatsoever here. Okay, let's say we are going to use, uh, uh, to simulate uh, the first one. So we find the elements, which is power, sorry, the source, which is a voltage source of AC. So this is AC source, can click from uh, down, drop down blocks. Or you can select from here directly. This is your sinusoidal voltage source. The same. Okay. Then we need a resistor. So we can click from sharp shortcut here. Also from the drop box, if you can. You right click, you can rotate the, the device. So resistor and the source. Then what we do, we need to do is that we take a pen and draw the lines to connect the circuit. Click and release. Click and release. So, so you have complete the circuit of AC source to supply resistive load. We double click on the device. The box of the parameters will be open. So you just adjust. Uh, by default, it stated that the peak amplitude of your source is 220 volt. We need 120, so you edit, change to 120. You can display, if you wish. So 120, uh, frequency maintained at 50. So when you close, so you can adjust the placement of this label. You can put a label, you can uh, edit or whatsoever. That's your own activity. Lah. Double, click, double click on the load. So resistance by default 12. We need only 5. So this is uh, the value that we need to simulate. 5 ohm. Then if you run directly, you can simulate already. But we need to measure or knowledge what is the voltage and current inside the circuit. So we select the voltage probe between two nodes here. Rotate and put in between our source. Meanwhile, the emitter we will put in between, or we have to cut the wires between source and load. So put in between source and load. So you can label accordingly of your emitter and your voltmeter. Okay, next step is that you have complete your circuit. So you can Copy to clipboard as your report. Copy and paste inside your report. So this is your schematic drawing. Okay, before you run, please select the uh, simulation control here. Simulation control to set how long you want to uh, run your simulation. As we have mentioned before, we need only uh, two cycles of uh, simulation. One cycle means that 50 hertz divided by one. Oh, sorry. One over 50 hertz means that you will have a 0 0.02 second. So if two cycles means 0 0.04. We put in 0 0.04 second. So you can run from here. Run simulation. After you complete run simulation, you can click run sim view. Okay, or you can directly click from here, the shortcut of run simulation. Then you click run sim view. Once the simulation is complete, you can run sim view. Let's see, we run simulation. So once the simulation complete, we'll show you the, the other view of sim view.
Okay, we'll, it will uh, take you to another page of scene view. So you can lump all together in terms of uh, current and voltage. You add to the variables for display. So it will show you the result already. So you can edit in terms of size, pattern, colors, or whatever to present inside your reports. If you want to measure the output, you click here, measurement. So it shows you the current measurement, means the, the recent measurement. If you want to check on in terms of average, so you click average, show you the average value. If you click RMS, so this is the reading of RMS value. So you take all the values here, put inside your report. Okay, one more is that you need to know the power uh, attributes of the circuit. So we have power meter, but another way is that we can directly calculate the power throughout our results here or throughout our graph. So what we need to do, we need to do is that we click the uh, on the display variables for display we just times p is equal to vi is it so times uh, i times v so the result is your power so i times v so v uh, times i is equal to power one so we you will do the calculation here, formula, then you add to the variables for display. So we have another graph of power. So this is your power. Okay. Okay, any question from the floor? So later on, you just copy all the graph and put inside your report and you can comment accordingly. And that's all for uh, part A. For part B, uh, for part B, Section B, motor drive modules. Okay, motor drive modules. We have all the details inside eSIM as, as well. The drop box, you can see the option of DC machine, uh, induction machine, synchronous machine. And also the related mechanical loads and sensors that we need to use in, inside our simulation. Okay, the procedure is that you need, um, you have option of uh, exploring by your own on the DC machine uh, for the first uh, lab modules here uh, we just select this machine as our reference uh, or our case study so if you click there on the DC machine this is the default attributes that being uh, key in already inside your uh, that data of the machines so you don't have to adjust or if you have other modules, uh, other version of PC, you try to compare and make sure that your default data is just like this one. Okay, so this is for parameters of the DC machine inside my uh, version, which is 9.0. I'm not sure, maybe your version is latest one, but make sure the parameters are listed per set the, the table. Lah. Okay, what you need to do is that when we use DC machines, so the source for sure is DC, it's not an AC. So DC, we don't have any uh, cycles or uh, duration of one cycle like AC source. Huh? So we need to plot in terms of how many uh, hours or seconds. So you just uh, ask you all to set 10 seconds as our observation uh, graph or observation uh, results. So when uh, this is the value of your DC machine, then the load of the machine should be a mechanical load with constant torque. So constant torque, you just need to simulate uh, with a source of 120 volt. Constant torque, you set minimum of one Newton meter, maximum 
100 newton meter so there's two value one is that you set at 100 and the one you set at one so there is minimum and maximum top so you compose the circle like this you set source at 120 volt this machine and this is your load so in between are your apparatus of a, a sensor ammeter voltmeter voltmeter for field uh, ammeter for field field current this is the motor current this is your torque sensor speed sensor uh, so you try to represent to present out all your measured data here inside your report and based on your own creativity so plot with reasonable screen capture either you want to lump all together or you separate uh, uh, by each values or you can com com combine certain values to present your observation between minimum and maximum top setting this is minimum this is maximum top setting so you simulate two scenario so you compare both scenario on your uh, reports and give your comment so discuss and conclude briefly discuss your observation given here four marks mean four times two lines so you should be able to discuss in terms of at least eight lines lah, and of your observation then give your conclusion on the part a and part b all together regarding this experiment okay we go to the pcm uh page again Okay, just now the circuit of your simple uh, resistive load now we try to simulate the <coughs> motor load so the source is your dc source okay this is dc source dc voltage source your load or your machine is dc machine so go to element power motor drive modules so we have here, here all induction motor dc synchronous so you select dc machine so we will come up dc machine then you just uh, wire all together in kind of shunt or parallel connection okay parallel connection then after the motor we need a load source motor load so the load is your mechanical load and sensor here so mechanical load like i told you before a constant torque load so constant torque okay so why you then right so you have a complete circuit of source machine and load Okay, source machine and load. Now you put a measurement device apparatus, voltmeter. Then you put an ammeter of your motor load and your field. This one to measure the current that passing through the motor. This one, the current passing through your field. Voltmeter, you just place one voltmeter because both of them are sharing the same terminals. Huh? Okay, after the motor, before the load, we need to measure their speed and their torque. So you find out inside the element drop box as well. So go to the mechanical load and sensor. We have here speed sensor and torque sensor. So you put one speed sensor, another is the top sensor so on the shaft so you measure the, the voltage here will represent the speed and the top value so later on it shows you the value you just indicate this one as your uh, top sensor top sensor measure in 
can click the word type button. It will show you the torque sensor measured in Newton meter. Speed um, are represent in terms of rotation per minute RPM. So torque here by default is one. Let's say we try to run at 100 meter meter. So the source just now is set at 120 volt. Is it? Source 120 volt. <coughs> the DC machine, you don't have to uh, adjust. You just uh, try to acknowledge or comprehend or understand that the parameter of this machine, especially on the rated RPM. So the rated means that the maximum RPM it can go is up to 100, 1200 RPM rotation per minute. Rated current is 1.6 ampere. Okay, you can run already. You click to add the run simulation. So we show you the sim view. Scene view page. Of all the current, voltage, uh, speed, top. If you don't label, so you show that this. Huh? So by right, you have to label which one is your speed, which one is your top, which one is your voltage terminal, which one is your current, speed current, which one is your load current. Let's say we lump the load current and magnetic current uh, terminal, uh, sorry, the motor load uh, current and also the current that pass through their field. So you can see like this. So if you then adjust the at the time, so we show you up to the time that we just set before. So make sure you set to 10 milliseconds inside your simulation control setting. Sorry, 10 seconds. Not 10 milliseconds, eh? 10 seconds. So in 10 seconds, you can see that the spike of the current before it go down to 100. You can measure the, uh, the data here or the graph. So it shows you I3 is 1.6 ampere. I2 is around 109 ampere. So we can add another curve, add another screen. Maybe you just lump at the, any other. Attributes. You can see here V1 and V2. So it's up to you, you, have, you want to uh, combine together all the graph or you combine to separate because sometimes the, the scale is too, the difference is too much. So you cannot see the, the lower one. So you have to put in other graph. So it's up to your creativity. Present all the observed data and or observed trend. Okay, that's all for our pre-lab uh, introduction, uh, the guidelines. So you just simulate and compile, discuss, put inside the, the template of the modules. So you don't have to create new template. You just put there, copy and paste at the module and send as your report. So we give you one week. So you start this week, next week before you start your net, your new lab, you submit the result uh, throughout our Google form. Okay, is there any question so far? Everybody, everybody is available. Huh? So very quiet from the other side. So any question? Any concern? All okay, okay. Okay, I give you 
So we should start, uh, the, the, the session is 9.30 to 11.30, so around 11 uh, plus I will check on you if there is nothing else, so I'll leave you with your experiment. I'll come back or you can ask me anytime in your WhatsApp group uh, and next next week we'll, we'll do or we'll proceed with the uh, next experiment. We, you know, what you mean by no equation? Yes, there is no equation. You just simulate on the result. The equation for power is that P equal to VI. That's all. Other you will get from your simulation. We create a schematic. We run a schematic. We get a result. Okay. Okay, good luck. Yeah, I'll check on you maybe before we dismiss. Okay. Assalamualaikum.